common misperception is that once you have osteoarthritis, there's nothing much that can be done and you're really heading toward having to have a joint replacement at some stage. And while some people do need to have a joint replacement, really that's reserved for people who have tried all of the other treatments and really given their best to work through home program. And if then that doesn't work and it's not effective, then to progress on to a joint replacement. Even if people are going to have a joint replacement, it's really important to become as fit as you can for the surgery, which will help you get through the surgery better and will help the rehabilitation afterwards as well. So even before the surgery, getting fit, improving the muscle strength, improving your fitness, improving the range of motion is really beneficial. And in fact, in some cases, what we've found is people have been on the waiting list and they haven't even tried all of the exercises and so forth that they could do. And people have then tried them while they're on the waiting list and have found that they haven't needed to have surgery. One, one of the things that's really important to consider, and I think most people um, realise this anyway, when they uh, see a surgeon and decide that arthroplasty or a joint replacement is the way they want to go, is that there's quite a commitment required from the patient um, in the lead up to the surgery, but particularly in those months afterwards to commit to their rehab program it would be great if we could see more people doing this in the pre-operative phase and putting such a, an intensive effort over such a time span, um, not immediately pre-joint replacement, but earlier on after their diagnosis of arthritis and long before they get to the point where they're actually, where really they're starting to look at there's no other options for managing their, their condition other than a joint replacement, but actually putting that amount of effort into a um, non-surgical rehabilitation program, dedicating their time to weight loss, controlling their weight, increasing their physical activity and really focusing on building good muscle strength and um, general body fitness. And I think we probably hopefully see um, quite a reduction in the number of people who would need to have joint replacement after they dedicated such a such an effort to that sort of a program. I think it's just a, a way in that people people think and assume that such a, a dedication will come with a surgical procedure, but we really do need to, to shift the way people with arthritis are thinking about their condition and, and get them doing that way before we're considering joint replacement. And, I think we'd see you know, improvements in outcomes across the board for everybody. If you're in line to receive a hip or a knee joint replacement, it's strongly advised that you see your physiotherapist and engage in an exercise-based program in the lead up to your surgery. This is what I do as part of my profession. And what I found is that up to 16% of individuals who were going to go on and have their surgery after engaging in the program that I set no longer needed to have surgery as a result of their injured hip or knee joint. Mm -hmm.